Okay kids, let's make a clay hippo. So the first thing you'll need to do with your clay is take a tool, I'm using a popsicle stick, and divide your clay into three. Then you'll want to squish each of your sections into a ball, so that way you can check that they're all about even. If one of your balls of clay looks a little bit bigger, just pinch a little extra clay off and then add it to a smaller chunk of clay. All right, go ahead and set one aside and we're going to make a pinch pot. So really roll that between your hands, kind of cuff your hands back and forth around it and then smoosh your thumb through the middle but we don't want it to go out the other side. We're gonna pinch around the bottom, kind of where your bottom of your thumb is and then you're slowly going to start pinching to the sides to make a pot. This is called a pinch pot. Now if you get little cracks like this, just take a little bit of water and rub it in, kind of like lotion, and smooth those cracks away. You don't want your walls to be too thin, so once you think it's good, set it aside, and then you're going to use another ball of clay and do the same thing. We want to have two pinch pots for this project. So again, pinch around, make sure all of the walls are about in even thickness, smooth out any cracks, and we're ready to go for the next step. Now, with those two pinch pots, we're actually going to seal them together for the big belly of our hippo. So, take a toothbrush, and really scrub this. This is called scratch, attach, or slip and score. So you'll need water and you're gonna need those really scratchy lines from the toothbrush and then press them firmly together, but not so hard that it caves in. Then you'll want to take your finger and try to smooth out the seam. If you need to use a tool like a popsicle stick to help you smooth it out, you can. But notice how I'm pressing some clay into the seam, going up and then down and then up again to smooth that all out. So by the time you're done, you'll be left with a hollow ball like this. I know it's empty on the inside. There's some air trapped on the inside. That's what we want. All right, set that aside, and then you have one chunk of clay we haven't used yet. Cut that one in half, and then set a piece aside. Roll this into a ball. We're going to make the head for our hippo. After you've rolled it into a ball, we're going to pinch the middle to make something that looks like the shape of a peanut. So you'll want the middle to be a little bit squished, kind of like that for the shape of the head. And then we need to attach this. So scratch attaching again with our toothbrush, score it really well, scrub it on one side of that hollowed out ball and then on the bottom of your head. And when you press it together, press kind of firmly and wiggle it into place really, really well so that you know it's going to stay. But you want to be careful because we don't want our body to cave in. You might need a tool to smooth around the outside so you don't see any more scratch lines. And then next, we're gonna start working on the face of our hippo. So I'm gonna show you how to make the ears Next, with your extra clay, pinch off just a little bit and then roll it into a ball in your hands. This will be a tiny ball that you're going to then press gently flat, just a little bit. And then on one side, you're gonna pinch it into a point. If it cracks like mine did, just get a tiny bit of water on your finger and smooth it out but it should kind of look like a teardrop shape. After you've got one for your ear, set it aside and then repeat the same process. Pinch off a little bit of clay, roll it into a ball, 
press it gently flat and then pinch one end to look like a teardrop shape. So now you should have two that are about the same size for your ears. Let's work on attaching them to the top of our head. So we'll want to score it on the very, very top corners of the head. And then just kind of gently press them into place right now. Don't press very hard yet until you know where both of them are going to go. All right. So I've got them attached, but next you'll want to take a finger and smooth out right where it's attached so we don't see that seam line anymore. All right, pretty cute. You may need to fix them a little bit if they got a little wonky when you were attaching them. Okay, now next you might notice looking at my finished hippo it looks like there's eyebrows. It's a little bit raised up right above the eyes. That's what we're going to do. So take a little bit of your extra clay and you're gonna roll it into a really skinny snake. This is called a coil. And then pinch off just a tiny bit for one of your eyebrows. And kind of curve it. And then you'll wanna make a second eyebrow as well. Pinch off a little bit, two skinny little snakes that are curved for your eyebrows. Now pretty close to where your ears are at the top, take a toothbrush and kind of scratch away right about there. And then take your eyebrows and just kind of set them into place right now. It'll kind of look like the letter M when you have them set down. Now either take a finger or a tool and start to smoosh down the bottom of those so they look like they're smoothed out. Right about like that. Okay, so we're going to press in our eyes next. So take a wooden skewer with a pointy end like this and then press down deep underneath your eyebrows on each side for your eyes. Right about now too, you'll want to add your big nostrils for your hippo. So decide where they're going to go. If you need to just press a teeny tiny hole as a guide to help you know where they're going to go, you can always do that and smooth it out if it isn't quite right. Now for the nostrils, you want to really press it in almost like that stick is going way up his nose and do the same thing on the other side. Very good. All right, just a little bit more to do, which is to add the legs and the tail. You'll want to make sure to take a little bit of your clay and set it aside to do the tail later. And then roll your clay into a really fat looking snake and divide it into four pieces for your legs. Roll each of those into something kind of like a cube or a cylinder and try to get them all about the same size. Once your legs are ready, go ahead and add some scratch lines for our scratch attach and water to the four corners of the belly the bottom of the belly for your hippo. And then while you're at it, scratch the tops of each of the legs. And when you attach these, you wanna press firmly and kinda of wiggle 
and twist them into place so that they're going to stay really, really well. Now you'll have to test how this sits on the table. So get your face right down next to the surface of the table and see how he stands. If his head is leaning too much, uh, too close to the table, you may have to adjust the position of your legs to get it to stand the way that you want it to. And lastly, we're gonna add the tail for your hippo. So take the leftover clay that you have and roll it into a coil with a pointy end. And I know I don't need that much, so pinch off what you know you're not gonna use. And then where your tail's gonna go, take that wooden skewer and poke a hole, get it a little bit wet and scratchy on the inside, and then try to smush the fat end of your coil and twist it down into that hole and smooth out around it. Now looking at mine, I can tell, oh, my hippo tail is way too long. So just pinch a little extra off and make it into a point. And there you go, how cute. Good job guys making your little hippos. We're gonna turn them into Egyptian hippos next.